The spinning roulette wheel has captivated players for centuries, inspiring many to seek strategies that could potentially beat the odds. While luck remains the ultimate arbiter, systems like the dull and bear approach offer a structured way to navigate the game's inherent uncertainties. Join us as we dive deep into the intricacies of this renowned strategy. What is the dull and bear strategy? Developed in the 18th century by French mathematician Jean Laurent d'Alembert, this system is built on a simple yet intriguing premise. Increase your bet by one unit after a loss, and decrease it by one unit after a win. The underlying idea is to recoup losses gradually while also capitalizing on winning streaks. The mechanics are straightforward. You begin with a predetermined base betting unit, typically the table minimum. If you lose a spin, your next wager increases by one unit. Conversely, if you win, your subsequent bet decreases by one unit. This approach aims to level out over time, potentially recovering losses while also taking advantage of positive runs. Historical Context To fully appreciate the dull and bear system, we must understand the intellectual climate of 18th century France. A time when the Enlightenment movement championed reason, scientific inquiry, and mathematical principles. Jean-Laurent d'Alembert was a prominent figure in this era, renowned for his contributions to mathematics, physics, and philosophy. While it's unclear whether he personally developed this strategy for roulette, the system's logical and structured approach aligns with the Enlightenment's emphasis on rational thinking. The Dull and Bear's strategy's simplicity and mathematical foundations likely appealed to the intellectuals of the time, who sought to apply reason to various aspects of life, including games of chance. Advantages of the Dull and Bear system Like any roulette strategy, the Dull and Bear approach offers both potential benefits and drawbacks. Let's delve into its advantages. Simplicity The system's straightforward mechanics make it easy to understand and implement, even for novice players. No complex calculations or advanced mathematical knowledge is required. Gradual adjustments By incrementally increasing or decreasing bet sizes, the Dull and Bear system aims to mitigate the impact of sudden, substantial losses. This gradual approach can help players maintain composure and avoid reckless betting decisions driven by emotions. Potential loss recovery while not guaranteed, the strategy provides a framework for potentially recovering losses over time by increasing bets after losses and decreasing them after wins. The system attempts to recoup previous deficits systematically. Bankroll Management The Dull and Bear system inherently encourages responsible bankroll management by limiting bet size adjustments to one unit at a time. This can help players avoid depleting their bankrolls too quickly during losing streaks. Limitations and Drawbacks Despite its appealing aspects, the Dull and Bear strategy has notable limitations and drawbacks that players should consider. House Edge Like all roulette strategies, the Dull and Bear system cannot overcome the inherent house edge in the long run. Roulette's built-in mathematical advantage for the casino ultimately prevails, regardless of the betting system employed. Potential for Substantial Losses while the incremental bet adjustments aim to mitigate losses, an extended losing streak can still result in significant deficits, especially if the player's bankroll is not adequately sized for the given betting unit. Limited win potential. The system's conversive approach limits the potential for substantial wins, as bet sizes increase gradually and cannot typically reach excessively high levels without risking substantial losses. Frequent resets or increases. To counteract the impact of extended losing streaks, players may need to reset their base betting unit frequently or increase it substantially, which can strain bankroll management. Implementing the strategy If you decide to incorporate the Dull and Bear system into your roulette gameplay, it's essential to follow a structured approach. Here's a step-by-step -step guide. Bankroll management Determine your overall bankroll for the session and set a suitable base betting unit that aligns with your risk tolerance and playing style. Define limits Establish predetermined loss limits and win goals to maintain discipline and avoid chasing losses or becoming overly aggressive when winning. Betting Sequence Start with your base betting unit and follow the system's rules consistently. Increase your bet by one unit after a loss and decrease it by one unit after a win. Streak Management 
Be prepared for both winning and losing streaks. During extended losing streaks, consider resetting your base unit or walking away to preserve your bankroll. Conversely, capitalize on winning streaks by adhering to the system's bet adjustments. Table selection. Choose roulette tables with favorable limits and betting ranges that accommodate the Dolan Bears system's incremental adjustments without reaching the table maximum too quickly. Record keeping. Maintain a detailed record of your betting sequence, wins, losses, and bankroll fluctuations. This data can help you analyze your performance and refine your approach if needed. Emotional control. Roulette can be an emotionally charged game. Remain disciplined and avoid letting wins or losses influence your decision-making process beyond the system's prescribed adjustments. Variations and enhancements. While the Dolan Bears system is typically presented in its basic form, some players have explored variations and enhancements to address its limitations or adapt it to their personal preferences. These include Reverse Dolan Bear. This variation involves decreasing bets after a win and increasing them after a loss, essentially inverting the original system's approach. Paroli Progression. Combining the Dolan Bear system with the Paroli Progression, which doubles bets after wins until reaching a predetermined target or loss. Unit Adjustments Instead of incrementing or decrementing by a single unit, some players experiment with adjusting bet sizes by multiple units or using variable units based on their bankroll size or perceived hot or cold streaks. Loss-Win Limits Incorporating predetermined loss or win limits that trigger a reset or adjustment of the base betting unit can help manage risk and preserve bankrolls. It's important to note that these variations and enhancements may introduce additional complexities and risks so thorough testing and analysis are recommended before implementing them. Casino Recommendations Certain casinos may offer more favorable conditions for employing the Dull and Bear strategy effectively. Factors such as table limits, minimum bets, and overall game rules can impact the system's performance. We've compiled a list of casinos where this system might work better than others, which you'll find in the video description below. Remember, these recommendations are based on research and analysis, but it's always essential to conduct your own due diligence and play responsibly within your means. Conclusion The Dull and Bear Roulette strategy offers a structured and logical approach to navigating the game's inherent uncertainties. While it cannot guarantee long-term success against the house edge, it provides a methodical framework for managing bets and potentially recovering losses. Whether you're a seasoned roulette enthusiast or a newcomer to the game, understanding the nuances of the Dull and Bear system can be a valuable addition to your repertoire. Just remember to prioritize responsible gaming, manage your brain grow prudently, and above all, have fun at the tables. Roulette is a game that blends chance and strategy, and the Dull and Bear approach exemplifies the human desire to find order amidst the chaos of the spinning wheel. Embrace its principles, but never lose sight of the fact that, ultimately, the true thrill lies in the unpredictable dance of the ball as it settles into its final resting place.